What up flockers? In this video we're gonna go over a big question I've been getting a lot and it's what to do if my parrot is biting. Now when it comes to parrots biting that's generally the number one fear with anybody looking to buy a parrot. So if you haven't bought a parrot you definitely want to watch this so you know exactly what's happening. And if you do right now have a parrot that's biting and being nippy and being very aggressive don't panic because chances are the biting could just be a big misunderstanding and it's actually not that big of a deal. Now if this video is really valuable to you guys, please make sure you hit like and subscribe so you can follow along and learn more about parrots. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you have to recognize when it comes to any issues about biting is understand that your parrot is not biting for no reason. Parrots are beaky animals in that they use their beak to replace hands because they don't have anything to grab with, you know, they got wings. But that doesn't mean a bird is being bitey. And now I know for a lot of beginners, when they see a parrot using their beak to like touch things, they're scared, oh no, it's gonna bite me or something. That's not a bite. Trust me, you will know when a parrot is biting you because it's generally going with a very strong intent. And that's kind of what I want to focus on because parrots don't bite out of nowhere. Parrots are only going to be biting you because of miscommunication. See, to a parrot, normally biting is kind of a last resort. They don't just go around biting random things and, and antagonizing other parrots in the flock. If they're biting, it's because something isn't being communicated and the other parrot or the other person just doesn't understand what the parrot's trying to tell them. Now that you understand that biting is simply a form of communication, all you need now to do is find the root cause. Why is the parrot biting? And then you learn to mitigate that. So a common example would be a person who just bought a brand new parrot and has brought it home and the parrot starts getting a bit nippy. There could be a lot of reasons for that. It can be things such as stress, that by you approaching and maybe you are approaching the parrot wrong, like trying to grab it or something, it's not liking it, it might try to bite you, trying to tell you, hey, don't approach me from that angle, you know? Kind of chill out. Or sometimes the parrot can also just be very hormonal and it just kind of wants to be left alone. Like, hey man, like today's not a great day. Like I just need some me time. And the parrot isn't trying to be malicious. It's just trying to tell you that it needs a little bit of distance today. And now other times parrots can actually start biting maybe because of things such as jealousy. Maybe you aren't giving the parrot enough attention and giving it to maybe another parrot in your flock or maybe a sibling or your husband or wife and the parrot starts being jealous and the only way it's trying to get your attention is trying to bite you and be like hey like hang out with me your parrot just might be very needy at the moment when it comes to figuring out why your parrot is biting you it is largely a process of elimination and trying to figure out what's the specific thing maybe it doesn't like the food you're giving it maybe it just hasn't been happy with how you've been treating it recently stress is also a very good indicator of why a parrot might suddenly turn nippy a few years back i actually was away from home for an entire month because of a combination of a vacation backed with a business trip and I was actually just gone from my flock for an entire month and Yoshi here got very nippy with me in the beginning when I came back home because he was really upset at me that like I never bothered to say hi for an entire month and it kind of got upset or maybe he was even scared or worried hey what happened to you and he developed a very nippy personality for quite a few months and it was something I had to work through to get him out of it he wasn't biting me because he hated my guts but he was a little upset and biting was the only way he could figure out how to communicate with me but after a lot of work he ended up just being nice and friendly like he normally was and that's just the thing Parrots generally aren't being nippy because they're just going for blood. No, they're trying to communicate something with you. And if you just take a step back and try to logically think in, you know, what the parrot's trying to tell you, you'll quickly figure out what it is. And now it's just a matter of trying to work towards the steps, working with the parrot, trying to figure out why it's biting and then mitigating those reasons. 
Another great example was one of you guys commented that your parrot was actually kind of biting you when it was on your shoulder and you couldn't figure out why your parrot was biting. Now when I mentioned like, hey, try to find like what's the association, what is it trying to communicate, you mentioned that your parrot, every time you bit, you would put down onto a stand and it would go potty. Well, there you go. I think you just figured it out. Your parrot's biting you not because it's like, upset or anything it's trying to let you know hey can you put me down like i really need to go potty and i don't want to go on you and now you just found the reason it's been biting you and now all you have to do is just realize okay every you know maybe 10 minutes put the parrot down let it go potty and then put it back on your shoulder and it's perfectly fine and i love it because that's just a great example of trying to find out why a parrot is biting you and sometimes it can be very simple reasons like that that's where if you haven't bought a bird yet keep in mind parrots biting it's generally more of a last resort if it has tried other things and those other things just haven't come across to you and also this strongly applies to if your bird is screaming or being noisy birds are generally noisy because it's again trying to communicate with you and if you find the reason why it's being loud or noisy and you work on mitigating that or associating that sound with something else you can eventually do away with that unwanted behavior and when you really boil things down it's simply a matter of association whether it's screaming or it's biting the parrot's trying to communicate and you're building a type of language together. If your parrot is biting you and you're always reacting, doing something in response, you just built a little bit of language between that parrot and now you're understanding that bite means this. And that's what the parrot's been trying to communicate with you. So now if you can try to figure out and associate that behavior that you're responding with to something else, you can eventually do away with that type of language that you're not really wanting. And that applies to just about everything with parrots. It's simply a matter of psychology and developing a language with each other and furthering that relationship and connection you two have. Now, if this is really helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.